Hi there. Let me get my chat going. Hi there. Welcome to Disney Deep Dive, where each week we dive into the history, stories, and details of the Disney parks. I'm Leah, and... Uh-oh. I'm all by myself. <laughs> Stefan is not here tonight. He is working right now. If you do not know, we own a wholesale screen printing company. That is what Stefan does as his full-time gig. And he has a big job that he is working on, so he is not going to be able to join us tonight. And last week I was gone. I was at a networking event. I am a social media marketer full-time. So yeah, we are kind of missing each other, but at least one of us was here each week, right? So I'm sad he's not here, but because he is not here and we are not going to do what we normally do, which each week, as I mentioned in the intro, we dive into the history, stories, and details of the Disney parks. So most weeks, and if you click, there is a link in the description box, and we go into very great detail, tons of research. Stefan spends so much time putting these episodes together. You can watch the entire playlist. You can pick a certain ride that you like or attraction that you like, and you can watch them. Of course, we would love it if you watched them all, but there's a whole bunch of them. Pirates is one of my favorites. We've done Indiana Jones. We've done Matterhorn. Like there's so many good things that we have done. Um, Yeti, I love. So definitely check those out. But if you have a favor and you are watching live, let me know what your favorite one was. If you're watching the replay, let me know as well. Um, so tonight I'm going to do Disney this or that. I was going to do Disney um, a tag, but I have already done, and you can go um, onto my videos, my playlist and see them. I have a whole Disney tag playlist, I'm pretty sure. In the description box, I will link it for the replay. But all the questions that I found looked pretty much the same. So I'm going to do Disney this or that. And if you are watching live, I would love if you played along. If you are watching the replay, play along as well. You can leave me comments and I will respond to you. I am going to be hopping back and forth to the live chat. So if you're watching the replay, that is what I'm doing. Hi, Gigi. Thanks for joining, girl. Yay. Okay. So I was actually talking to Gigi about what we were going to do. I She suggested an interactive game, which would be really fun. We did get Disney Pictionary, which would be cool to do. When I tried to do Disney Family Feud on here, it did not go very well. I did not think it was very good. Um, so I'm going to try Disney this or that. I do want to thank the liveplace.com. They host our live streams and Dean is incredible. So check that out. It is in the description box and let us know what you would like to see. We always are looking for ideas for um, attractions. We could also do parties or parades or anything like that, but we really love doing rides and attractions the best. So, all right, I pulled up, let me find it, Disney, this or that. And if you see me looking down a lot, I'm not being rude. <laughs> Just looking at my phone, there's a whole bunch of them. A lot of these I think are actually what you see on Instagram those fun things that everyone's putting in their Instagram stories lately. So that is what I'm finding. But this one is a this or that Magic Kingdom edition. And it looks like this one is Disney World. So I'm going to start with this and then we'll go from there. If you are watching, let me know how your day is going. Let me know where you're watching from. And let me know your favorite Disney deep dive episode that we've done. Okay, the first thing says Cinderella's Royal Table or Be Our Guest. I have been to both of these restaurants and so Be Our Guest is the one that is Beast Castle and that is a super popular, it's been open for quite a number of years now, but it's still a super popular reservation. When we went on our big family trip, um, it was the end of 2015 and it was very hard to get a reservation, especially for a lot of people and we did have a large party. Um, I loved it. We did lunch and dinner. I preferred dinner. Both were really cool. And it is nice that lunch and breakfast are considered quick service, but the dinner was really, really neat. However, I'm going to go with Cinderella's Royal Table because it is in the castle and you really can't get much more magical than eating right in Cinderella Castle. So we went to Bippity Boppity Boutique 
Haley became Princess Aurora, and then she got to twirl with Aurora, and it was so amazing. We have the vlogs. They're also linked in the description box. We used to daily vlog. We do not anymore, um, but we did for a year and a half every single day. So there's tons of vlogs, and we have Disney vlogs, and I'm so glad to have those memories. But Haley got to twirl with Aurora, and Connor was a knight. And, um, oh, Gigi says, I've never been to either, but I would pick Be Our Guest. Yes, the ambiance at Be Our Guest is very cool. It's very well done to the movie. I love that. It's cool to go and see. There's the one room that has all the ripped tapestries from where, you know, the beast is scratching. That's really, really cool. The main dining room is neat. All of the suits of armor are really cool. There's great videos on YouTube, or you can watch our vlog and uh, see those. All right, the next question, or this or that, is Seven Dwarves Mine Train or Big, Big Thunder Mountain? Those are two, I mean, I guess they are similar, but very different rides. I'm going to go with Seven Dwarves Mine Train. I think I might be in the minor minority with that, but I love that ride. It's a really fun roller coaster that you can do with young kids, and I love the way they incorporate the Snow White movie into it. It's really fun. You get to see all the gold and the jewels and Dopey is so, so sweet. And that's a good ride. I have really good memories of doing that with Haley. So yeah, Seven Doors Mind Train is fun, Gigi. Okay. Peter Pan or It's a Small World. This is funny because I know that people either love or hate. Um, let me know in the comments if you are a fan of it's a small world or if it drives you crazy I think it can also kind of do both because it would definitely drive me crazy after a while but I love it I love I mean obviously small world shirts coat right we probably like it but I love the nostalgia of it I love that it's a way to just relax and sit and rest your feet for quite a while because it is quite a long ride and it's fun I, I just enjoy it um Peter Pan is a great ride it's definitely one to fast pass but I would not stand in that queue for how that ride is not worth the line that it has. And it always has a really long line. Peter Pan, it's a small world. Beautiful. That song drives me crazy. And I couldn't wait to get out of it. Yes. It's a, it's so repetitive and it's a very, very long ride. It's a, it's like, you think, you know, you're going to keep going through and you're like, Oh, okay. must be. Nope. 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 You got more countries to go. Okay. Nope. You're not done. Okay. Crystal palace or the plaza restaurant. So, I do not know if I've ever eaten at the Plaza restaurant. If I did, it was when I was maybe like 11 years old. And I love Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace is the one restaurant that I, or one of the, I remember several, but the one that sticks out the most in my mind from going on my first trip when I was a kid, because at the time I really, really loved Winnie the Pooh and all those characters. And we went there specifically so that I could see the Pooh characters and then we took the kids there and did the same thing. And actually my mother-in-law really loves Pooh, so that was really fun for her as well. But that was cool, very full circle, because I went as a kid to see those characters and then so did my kids. And Crystal Palace is just a beautiful, uh, hasn't changed all that much since I was a kid and it's fun, I really like it. Crystal Palace, because it sounds so magical. Yeah, it's nice. It's funny because it's not as fancy, like parts of it do seem a little bit maybe stuck in the past, but it's a, it's a good one. It's like you have to go there at least once, I think. Okay. Um, okay. Gaston's Pub or Main Street Bakery? I mean, Main Street Bakery is amazing. It's delicious. You can get... But Gaston's Pub is super cool. I love Gaston. You can meet Gaston usually right there. It's themed well. It's got the gorgeous fountain. You can get LeFou Brew if you like that or giant cinnamon rolls, which you can also get at a bakery. So I'm going to go with Gaston's Pub on that one. The bakery, I mean, it's good, but I don't have any special like allegiance to that. So I'm going Gaston's Pub. Even though I don't like Gaston, I picked the pub. Yeah, it's, it's a really fun environment. And I like that little kind of tucked off corner, um, Kind of close by like Little Mermaid and stuff. I like that part of Magic Kingdom. Okay. Happily ever, ever, <laughs> Happily ever After or Festival of Fantasy. I do not know the... 
when it comes to fireworks and parades, that's just, I haven't, that's not where my focus has been. Um, because I haven't been to the parks, honestly, that much to experience all of them. So I really don't know which I would pick. I'm sure I would think either would be magical, but let me know if that's something you're super into, which you would pick. Pirates of the Caribbean or Haunted Mansion? Oh my gosh. I wish Stefan was here because those are his two, like he loves those rides. He would pick I don't know though. He loves our pirate episode. I was going to say pick on a mansion. That's very hard for me. I think I'm going to go the other way and pick pirates. Although that's really, really hard. Those are two of the most beloved iconic people like cult favorite rides. Um, in terms of our episode, I loved our pirates episode. I had so much fun and it's funny because it's our first one. So I don't know how much that has to do with it, but yeah, I hate to say we did the first or the best on the first one, but that one was so much fun and so interesting to do. Festival of Fantasy, I don't know why. I, oh, Festival of Fantasy is calling my name Pirates. Yeah, yes. Okay, yay, Gigi. All right, that was the first one for that. This is another one. This one just says Disney. So Disney, this or that. This one looks pretty short, and then we'll go on to some other ones. Okay, Disneyland or Disney World. This is funny because I've only been to Disney World. We talk about this every single week here on Disney Deep Dive that even though we will talk quite a bit about international parks and definitely lots about Disneyland when we get into the history of things, my husband and I, Stefan, have only been to Disney World. We are in the Midwest and that is the closest to us. So you can get there. I mean, we could drive there and I don't know, maybe 18 20 hours and then it's about a three hour plane ride or actually no it's like a two hour plane ride so um disney world although if you were asking me here you go go to one of these tomorrow i would go to disneyland because i really it's on my bucket list i really want to go there disneyland because i've only been there yeah maybe we should switch maybe you you can go to disney world well no we should go to both together but you get to go and experience disney world and then i can go experience disneyland Mickey or Minnie? I'm going Mickey. I I love Minnie, okay? And she's very sweet. But, I mean, Mickey, he's the main mouse. I just, I don't know. Mickey and Minnie together. What's You can't have Mickey without Minnie. You can't have Minnie without Mickey. Okay. Splash Mountain or Space Mountain? That's a really hard one. Um, also, if I have to pause, it's because I am helping. Uh, well, I shouldn't say I'm helping, but... I am running solo with the kids and all that, and they just went to bed right before I hopped on live. So, oh, Mickey. Yeah, both together. Uh, we should, yeah, we should go to the parks together at some point, Gigi. That's like a bucket list. That's like a, should be a goal. Um, Mickey, Space Mountain. I'm going to go Space Mountain too, I think. Splash Mountain is iconic. I, we've talked about this. I've never been on Splash Mountain, but Space Mountain's that's just cool. Like, that's just, it's so fun. And like, kind of like, I love like the lights going and make it seem like you're going so much faster. Yeah. Good one. Can't really go wrong though. Um, Tower of Terror or Rock and Roller Coaster. I think this is another one where I'm going to be in the minority. I'm going Rock and Roller Coaster. And that is because I have such a specific memory tied to that ride. I love Aerosmith. I love that you know, the, the theme and the ambiance of that ride. But when I was 17, and so that would have made my brother 10, we went, my mother was on a business work trip conference. And so my dad took us to Disney for a couple of days. And we went and we were like, dad, we're gonna go on a rock and roller coaster. And at the time, I loved roller coasters. So did my brother. But my dad was like, no way. And um, we ended up convincing him to go. And I don't know we told him that it went upside down I think we did but it's dark um but I just I cannot believe somewhere I know we bought the picture so somewhere and this is back when they you know no memory maker or anything it was just a printed off photo um I need my mom to find that because it's just such a good memory okay I'm hopping over to the live chat tower of terror if I wasn't a chicken truth rock and roller coaster yeah, something about being in the dark and not knowing what's coming next. I totally agree. No matter like that little, just that anticipation kind of coming up in your stomach is so fun. I love that feeling. Um, I'm, I love roller coasters, but I don't really like dropping so much. Um, I will do it, but I love roller coasters. You like my, it's a roller coaster. Go with it. Okay. Um, 
Magic Kingdom or Animal Kingdom, I am 100% Magic Kingdom. I think that that is the classic answer. And I love all the fantasy land and all the things that make Disney Disney. The castle is there. If Stefan was here, I can tell you, and not that I typically am speaking for him or anything, but he loved Animal Kingdom. And we did have a lot of fun at Animal Kingdom. So his vote would probably be Animal Kingdom. I don't like the drops either. Yeah. Magic Kingdom. Okay. I'm listening. I've got mommy around for crying children. Okay. Um, Fantasyland or Tomorrowland? This is another one where I'm not sure. I'm not going to speak for Stefan. I think he might lean Tomorrowland. I know as a kid he loved that, like the futuristic stuff. I'm definitely Fantasyland. I just think that that is what makes Disney so special to me is all of the things that are right there in Fantasyland. So that's how I'm going to go. Donald Duck or Goofy? That is a very, very hard one. I love Donald Duck because I think that Mickey can often be like a little bit too perfect and clean, you know, and Donald Duck's kind of up for some trouble and some fun. Um, but I love Goofy and I especially love Goofy because I grew up with Goofy movie and then Max and then Haley, not in a long time, but she, when she was about four years old, was obsessed with Max to the point where she wrote Maxie. And Maxie very rarely is in Disney World. I know that he was in Disneyland regularly at um, a dining, a breakfast, character breakfast. I'm not sure because, again, Disneyland isn't my home park. But sometimes you can meet Maxie at Disney World. But she wrote, we had a manila envelope. This is in our... If you want to watch it it's in our animal kingdom vlog the playlist is linked in the description box but there is this giant manila envelope that she wrote all these cards and all these letters for maxi and we gave them to goofy or she gave them to goofy when we were at tusker house in animal kingdom because maxi was at college and oh my gosh like now i'm like oh i want to watch it one of those movies with her but she loved maxi so much so i'm going goofy um yeah, Goofy. I, yeah, Goofy's great. Okay, and then Maleficent or Cruella de Vil? Every time I watch, my answer is, boom, Maleficent. Aurora is my favorite Disney princess. I think Maleficent has an amazing story. I have not seen the newest movie, but I did really like the first one. Even though I'm not a big fan of Angelina Jolie, um, she is a good actress, um, but she's just not my favorite actress. However, I think she did a great job in that movie. I would like to see the new one. I've heard very good things about it. And I love her story. I think that there's so much more to her and to Aurora and all of that than people think when they just kind of think of Sleeping Beauty being more outdated. I do, though, have to say, whenever I watch either live action or animated 101 Dalmatians, I love Cruella de Vil, and I really want to be here her one year for Halloween. I think that would be such a fun costume. Okay, we're on to the next one. I'm trying to keep up. Live chat, if you see me looking down, I'm looking at the chat over here, and then I'm looking at my phone over here, so lots of stuff happening. Okay. Oh, this one's going to be quick. Okay. Walt Disney World Hotels, and I have only ever stayed in, yes, two Walt Disney World Hotels, um, but I have been to many of them for dining or just going park, or not park, but resort hopping, looking around. So um, I'm going to try to do these ones quick and get on to the next one. I'm going to take a sip of water. Because instead of taking little breaks when I have my partner here, it's just me. So no PIC tonight. All right. Grand Floridian or Contemporary? I have not stayed in either. I love Grand Floridian. That is just such a stunning hotel. I love the just grand piano. I love the music. I love how fancy and old fashioned it is. I just absolutely love it. Contemporary is a great location though. Polynesian or Animal Kingdom Lodge. We stayed at the Poly and we all fell in love with it. It was so beautiful, so convenient to be on the monorail. But if I were going back, you know, if we're talking expense paid here, I would, it is on my list to do Savannah View at Animal Kingdom Lodge, especially for our son Connor, who, uh, well, all of our kids like animals, but he adores animals, especially giraffes. So I really want to do the safari view. 
Um, Caribbean Beach or Coronado Springs, Caribbean Beach. And that's because I stayed there as a kid and I loved it. I have really good memories of my parents and brother and I coming back to the hotel and then having, um, I had gotten a safari poo and a Dumbo and so they put those in the window and going to the food courts and I got my caricature done and I got one of those, oh gosh, where they put a friendship bracelet twine in your hair and just so many good memories. Yes, I think, um, Gigi, you would love the Polynesian. It's such a beautiful, beautiful resort. Okay, Boardwalk or Yacht and Beach Club? All, I mean, I would stay at any of them and because I have not been to any of those. But I think I'm gonna go Yacht and Beach Club. However, like I said, they all look wonderful. Uh, Wilderness Lodge or Port Orleans? I would go to Port Orleans, probably French Quarter. Wilderness Lodge would be really cool, and I would love to do the campground. I think that would be really fun to take a, like, really fancy schmancy camper and do that. But um, Port Orleans is on my radar for a moderate resort for a future trip. So, Yacht and Beach, yes. Um, Pop Century or Art of an Animation? Art of Animation. I think my kids would really, really like the theming there. It looks like a ton of fun. And I love all of the special rooms. Okay. Let's keep going. Oops. I had another one. Now I need to pull it up. Come on. Disney, this or that. Oh, okay. This one is movies. Moving on to movies. All right. Snow White or Sleeping Beauty? Sleeping Beauty. Peter Pan or Alice in Wonderland? Peter Pan, Frozen or Tangled? Tangled. However, I have a lot of really special memories associated with the fact that my daughter was one of many to be completely obsessed with Frozen when it came out. Oh, see, you're going Snow White and Frozen. Snow White, Alice, and Frozen. That's so funny, Gigi. So Gigi is watching along live with me, and she has so far answered everything the opposite of me. That's really funny. Okay, um... Brave or Mulan, that one rips me up inside because Brave, my kids love it. That's the one they're going to pick. We watch that so many times over and over. I think it's incredible. I kind of think that Brave is the, like my kids' generation's version of Mulan, but I have got to go Mulan. I love Mulan. My brother and I, that's one that we both watched over and over and over together. I love that movie so much. Okay. Um, Lilo and Stitch or Moana. Ooh, again, that one kills me. I have such good memories of watching all, <laughs> all the Lilo and Stitch movies, the sequels, the Stitch movie, all of those. But I love Moana. I love the songs, the soundtrack, everything. I'm going Moana on that one. Really hard. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, Gigi. Mulan is so good. I'm excited for the live action too. I know it's not fair. It's not. I'm having a hard time. Uh, Cinderella or Little Mermaid? <sighs> Cinderella is the classic. Well, I know Snow White was first, but Cinderella is the classic princess. I know this. However, I am going Little Mermaid because that is who I grew up with. I had Little Mermaid Barbie. I had Little Mermaid flannel sheets. I had Little Mermaid stuff. And yeah, <laughs> uh, my, my friend Gigi who's watching on the live chat, she says Little Mermaid. Yes, Little Mermaid definitely for you. I actually have, let's see the sticker, Life is Mermazing. I got that in a Libby Tease um, box. My first big girl underwear was Little Mermaid. Yes, I think a lot of uh, us uh, 1990s kids had lots of Little Mermaid stuff. Oh, man. Okay. Um, Little Mermaid and the Lion King, right? Okay. Um, Tangled or Aladdin? Again, not fair. Aladdin, if you're talking my childhood, and oh my gosh, Robin Williams, amazing. But Tangled, I mean, okay, and how, they made us pick Tangled twice. Fox and the Hound or Brother Bear? Brother Bear. Brother Bear is underrated. It's really, really good. My kids love that, and I like watching it with them. Fox and the Hound is good, but I can't, I can't watch it. I, I've watched it once as an adult and maybe once as a kid. It's heartbreaking that is so so sad they're best buddies and they realize that one hunts the other oof killer oh okay um 
Beauty and the Beast or Snow White? Mm, that is very hard. I think I'm going to go Beauty and the Beast. However, I really love a lot of parts of Snow White, specifically Dopey. I love Dopey so much. Okay. Um, Moana or Frozen? I love Frozen 2. So if we're including Frozen 2, it might be Frozen 2. But talking strictly Moana and Frozen, I think I'm going to go Moana. That might be recency bias, though, because I've seen that more recently. Lion King or The Jungle Book? I watched The Jungle Book more growing up because when I saw The Lion King, when it came out in theaters, it was one of my best friends, her mom, and then an, our other friend on the other side. So I was the one who wasn't on one of the sides of the grown up. And when Scar, the whole scene, oh my gosh, and Mufasa, I was by myself. I just remember sitting there. And I mean, I was young when that movie came out and I, did, I never wanted to see it again. I was like, I will never watch that movie again. And so I didn't for a long time. So I watched Jungle Book more growing up and I really loved it. But if you're talking what I think is a better movie and what I would watch now, The Lion King for sure. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm hopping over to the live chat. Lion King because the music and the colors. Yes, the music. If you're talking music and soundtrack, Lion King wins for sure, for sure. Um, wait, that means we can pick Lilo and Stitch. I know some of them are repeating. I'm not sure, but I'm going to lean with it, rock with it. <laughs> um, Bambi or Dumbo? Definitely Dumbo. Um, the movie Dumbo. So to make a pretty long story short, our middle child, Connor, has special needs. And while I was pregnant for him, um, it was a really, really hard time. And there, Haley was a toddler. Um, she was only one. Uh, she, they're not quite two years apart. And so, like, one and a half. And there, we had this Disney lullaby CD for her. And I would listen to it in the car with her and stuff. And I was listening to it, and Baby Mine came on, and I just was crying and like I instantly knew like that's my song for him and it still is and so that's just super super special I have a hard time watching it though because I will cry whether I'm watching the live action one or the animated one um and Bambi is just like also super sad like that's like Fox and the Hound status like you've seen it once and it's like okay do you want to do that to yourself <laughs> do you really want to do this to yourself um okay then we have Mulan or Pocahontas. Definitely Mulan. I like Pocahontas when I watch it. And I always think, oh yeah, this is really good. But to me, it wasn't a super like impactful one growing up. Like it wasn't one that I remember watching over and over or anything. I'm definitely going Mulan. I absolutely love Mulan. I still love Mulan. Mulan is one of Stefan's favorites also, although his favorite Disney movie is Emperor's New Groove. If you did not know, fun fact about Stefan. Okay, um, Finding Nemo or Finding Dory? Finding Dory. I love Dory. Um, I love Ellen DeGeneres, and I love that movie. In the live chat, Pocahontas is boring. <laughs> that made me laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dumbo gets back with his mom. Yes, oh, Dumbo. Okay, um, Monsters, Inc. or Toy Story? completely unfair like I just I don't think I can answer that Toy Story is my favorite okay Toy Story is probably my favorite movie but my favorite character is Sully Sully is my top favorite character and that is yes because uh my nickname for our youngest is Sully my maiden name is Sullivan um, my dad is actually Mike Saul, Mike Sully. So that's kind of funny because Mike and Sully, but I love the character of Sully and his whole, especially if you watch Monster University as well, which I like that better a lot of times than Monsters Inc. Um, I love Sully. Um, uh, let's see. 
All right, back in the live chat. Finding Nemo, even though the whole Sigourney Weaver thing is hilarious. And Monsters, Inc. Okay. And then, let's see. Aladdin or Cinderella? Aladdin is full of adventure, which is fun, but Cinderella is the classic. So I think, I think I'm going Cinderella. Lilo and Stitch or Lion King? I love Lilo and Stitch. It's so, so cute. But I think I'm going to have to go Lion King on that one. Hercules or Bambi? Hercules. I think Hercules is an underrated one. I remember Hercules being such a gigantic deal when it came out. There was Hercules stuff everywhere at the Disney store, at McDonald's, at the, you know, the parks, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And then now you really can't find very much um, of it like in the theme parks or anything like that. But I did remember Hercules being a huge deal when it came out. Uh, the Little Mermaid or Princess and the Frog. This is interesting because I love The Little Mermaid. That is what I grew up with for sure. But The Princess and the Frog, it, like if I was going to suggest one of my kids right now, they'd probably all pick that. The music is incredible. It is funny. I love Tiana. I think she is so hardworking. She's going after her dreams. She's not letting anyone mess with that. She's like, whatever, I have to go to work. I'm making my dreams happen. And I think that is such an incredible message. And it's funny. And the villain is so great too. So if you're asking, what am I watching tonight? If I pick one of those two, definitely Princess and the Frog. What? Oh my God, gee, you hate the Princess and the Frog? Interesting. And then yes, my mom and dad took me on a date to the movies. We went to McDonald's and I got the plate with all the muse. Oh my gosh, Gigi, do you still have that plate? I remember getting the specialty cups that they would have, the glass cups of all the theme parks. And yes, I wish they would still do that. I would be in there buying that stuff. I remember getting the 101 Dalmatians. They had snow globes. I wish my parents still had them, these plastic snow globes. My dad took me to the restaurants and I got all four of them and I loved them so, so much. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's find another one. Here we go. Here we go. Disney this or that. We're doing well here, guys. I am tired tonight too. I did not sleep well last night. I went to another actually networking thing last night. It was great. But by the time I got back, um, Stefan was working really late last night. Also, he's doing a really big job printing and I'm so proud of him, but I have a hard time. Like if I'm trying to fall asleep and then he's coming in and then I wake up. So I just stayed up doing work, which was great. I needed to get work done anyway, but whew. Okay. Um, okay. This one's going to be really interesting. We still have the glass cups and one plastic Aladdin cup and plate. I messed up in the microwave. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. I love that stuff. Um, I love when you have things like that. It's pretty cool to have it all these years. Okay. This one's going to be interesting. It's Disney this or that but you have to pick which you would want. So this one's gonna be really, really fun and I'm probably not gonna wanna pick. Okay, a hook for a hand or Dumbo's giant ears. I'm going hook for a hand because I feel like I would be able to do, I suppose it would depend on if it was my right or left hand, but if I could pick and it could be my left hand, probably that, especially because I'm assuming that, you know, you could have a pretty, a pretty nice one these days. It wouldn't have to look like Captain Hook. Um, let's see if you had Dumbo's ears, you can get them, you get them pinned back, right? <laughs> evil stepsisters or Rapunzel's mother. Definitely evil, evil stepsisters, because you could handle that. You could just be like, listen, like that's, that's my one issue with Cinderella. And like, I understand that, but like, they weren't really doing anything to keep her there. Like, yes, she was kind and sweet and all this stuff, but like, shoot, leave, you know? Um, whereas Rapunzel's mother, that's really sad because if you really think deep about that, she thinks that she loves her. And I mean, Rapunzel does love her mother. Like she loves Mother Gothel and doesn't understand what's been happening and what happened to her, which is really, really tragic. And of course they don't go into detail, but like if that actually were to happen and you were robbed of your entire childhood, you know, being a princess aside, taken away from your family, taken away from your parents and raised this way, that's 
horrible, like scary, scary stuff. So I would pick the evil stepsisters for sure. Okay. Um, raised by fairies or raised by wolves? Fairies for sure. I'm going fairies. Um, Rapunzel's magic hair or Elsa's icy powers? Um, I think Elsa's powers. Rapunzel's hair caused a lot of trouble and people would always be trying to take it from you and harm you. Although I guess it has healing powers. Um, Gigi, you're going raised by wolves. I'm watching live chat. If you're watching the replay, let me know what you would pick for that for sure. I think that's fun. Ra that one's a good one. Raised by wolves or raised by fairies. I'm going fairies. Definitely. Okay. Um, talking furniture, a talking snowman, totally a talking snowman. Give me an Olaf any day. Um, fairy godmother or magic genie. Ooh. Ooh, magic genie, but I would have to pick two wishes because I would want to let him out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, stuck as a llama or stuck as a beast? I think llama because until you were able to figure out a plan to be unstuck, you're, well, first of all, llamas are super popular right now. You probably could live like a luxe life as a llama these days. People, llamas are trendy. And I mean... You're not going to be killed. Like, if you're a beast, you have a more chance of them being like, we have to kill you or trap you. Um, also, my mom just, uh, I don't know if she's watching. She might be. She watches a lot of times. Thanks, mom. But she has liked llamas long before they were trendy and cool. <laughs> Lux life is a llama. Yes, llamas are popular, man. Probably living a good life. I want to live like <laughs> Depending on who the owner is, could have a good life as a llama. Okay. Take advice from a talking dragon or take advice from a talking tree. Um, I, I mean, a dragon would be cool and that's pretty unique, but I think tree. <laughs> Mama Sully. Oh, that's cute. I don't think she's ever been called that. She'll like that. That's cute. Gigi, you're so cute. Gigi, meet Mama Sully. Okay. Um... Classic Disney or new Disney. I'm going Disney Renaissance Disney, which is what I grew up with, what every 90s kid grew up with. We had it good in the 90s, okay? We really did. I'm so grateful that I grew up in the 90s. Um, explore the sea with Ariel or explore the sea with Moana. Ariel! Yes. Oh, yeah. Grandmother Willow is old and knowledgeable. That's very true. Very, very true. Um, these ones are good. In the Sky with Aladdin or In the Sky with Peter Pan. Aladdin, which fun fact, that is the scene. So this was a common one on the Disney tag videos. Um, what scene would you want to have actually happen? And a lot of people go with the lanterns from Rapunzel, which is beautiful. My whole thought with that is you could actually do that. I mean, it would be very expensive and hard to do, but you could pull that off, right? You could have, you could go to an, a thing where they let go of all those lanterns. And But when are you going to get to ride a magic carpet, you know? Okay, that was a really good one. That was fun. Maybe I can find some more like that. Do you guys like to do these on Instagram where you circle or mark the different stuff? I love them. They're really, really fun. Although a lot of times people don't tag me. I just find them. Um, okay, this one is a Disney World. Well, did we already do some of these? Mm, okay, I'm just going to read the... Do we only? Okay. Yeah, we already did most of those, so I'm skipping that one. Just kidding. Aladdin, because Peter Pan wasn't actually a nice kid. He was pretty selfish. Yeah, Peter Pan and um, Gigi, I think you also watched. I didn't watch the entire thing, but I watched part of, um... oh my gosh, what is that show called? Where all of it's Once Upon a Time. Whew. <laughs> not even able to think of that. I didn't watch all of it. We, Stefan and I stopped watching, but that show is one of the ones that really got me, got, you know, the wheels turning about the different ride or not rides, <laughs> different characters and like, oh, and like, you know, Maleficent and these different ones. Yes. Once upon a time. Yeah, for sure. Peter Pan. Selfish. Um, 
Okay. Oh no, I hope we're not running out. I think I just need to get to the next grouping of them. Oh yeah, there's lots. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Ooh, this is fun. Are you more Disney princess or Disney villain? Do you believe in true love or there's no such thing? Yes, I do believe in true love. However, um, in terms of like one true love for you in the whole entire world cosmically, I don't know, but I definitely, yes, believe in one true love. True love. Yeah. Okay. Um, Winning is not important. Winning is everything. If you're asking what I'm telling my kids, winning is not important. Um, and yes, that's my answer. However, I'm very competitive and I certainly like to win. Um, pastel colors or dark colors for clothing. Uh, I like neutrals, so I suppose that's a lot of black. So I suppose that's dark colors. Um, patience or short temper patience and that's something that I've really had to work on over the years but I've gotten really good at it I mean I have three young kids and yeah you've, you've got to learn to have some patience um fear loss of freedom or fear loss of youth definitely loss of freedom I remember so I'm 32 and just before I turned 30, when I was 29, I kind of freaked out. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm leaving my 20s. But I love being in my 30s. Like, I am not at all ashamed to be 32 years old. Um, not that that's old by any means. But um, save a stranger first or save myself first. Okay, I know you're supposed to say save a stranger. However, I'm going save myself because, you know, the whole airplane, you got to protect yourself before you can protect others. Now, if you're talking my kids or my spouse or my, you know, close friend, that might be different. But if you're talking me or a stranger, I'm saving, I'm saving myself, right? Because I'm, well, I'm a three on the Enneagram, <laughs> but I'm also, I'm a mother and I'm a spouse and I, you know, I'm, I, my life is important for those people. Oh, Gigi in the live chat said a stranger. You are so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Serious Black or Bellatrix? Oh, I thought this was supposed to be... Hmm. Disney. Okay. Um, reflection or Poor Unfortunate Souls? Poor Unfortunate Souls is such a creepy song and I love Reflection. That's a really, really good one. Um, okay. I think I had, okay. So I had, let's see, one, two on the villain side and I had one, two, three, four, five on the princess side. And I think Gigi, you had almost all princess too. Let me know which you had if you played a long Okay, let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Okay, this is This or That Tomorrowland edition, which Tomorrowland is one of the lands in the Magic Kingdom. Astro Orbiter. <laughs> Lots of people do not like Astro Orbiter. Let us know. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you think we should do it. I think it would be a really fun one to do for a Disney deep dive episode. Um, or Space Ranger Spin. Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin for sure gets my vote. Um, ooh, this one's hard. Carousel of Progress or Transit Authority People Mover. I know people love the people, people love the people mover, but I am going Carousel of Progress. I think that that's such a cool special ride and I absolutely love Walt. So go on with that. Um, the Launching Pad or Cosmic Rays, Cosmic Rays, um, Okay, I don't know this one. So this will be interesting. Let me know. if Tell me about it if you're watching um, Merchant of Venus or Mickey's Star Traders. Ooh, my little charging cord. You guys like this? I think I can unplug it now. I've got enough. Got enough juice. Get over here. Um, Tomorrowland Speedway or Space Mountain. Space Mountain. 
frozen treats or popcorn cart. Uh, if it's hot out, frozen treats. If not, popcorn cart. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Find another good one. Okay, this is the Adventureland, this or that edition. So, oh, okay, I'm looking, let's see, at live chat. <laughs> yeah, uh, Space Mountain, Frozen Treats, yes. Okay, all right, um, Enchanted Tiki Room or Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. We did a whole episode on the Enchanted Tiki Room, and I think it's really, really awesome, and I love all the history there. But I love Swiss Family Robinson. I love that movie. I have such good memories of watching that movie with my family. And then I watched it with Stefan. He had never seen it, I think. Or maybe maybe he had. I don't remember. But we watched it together not that long ago. I want to watch it with the kids. And I love exploring Swiss Family Robinson's treehouse. I think that's so cool. Um, Jungle Cruise or Jingle Cruise? Okay, Jingle Cruise is the Christmas version. I'm going to go with that because I've never been on it at Christmas time. The Magic Carpets of Aladdin or the Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates, who, who? If you are out there and you are going to pick Aladdin's Magic Carpets, like, I'm sorry, it's cute if your kids love Jasmine or Aladdin, whatever. But all that ride does is go, and you can ride that at your local fair, okay? The same kind of thing. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Definitely. Um, the Skipper Canteen or Tortuga Tavern, Skipper Canteen, have not been there, want to go. Ooh, Dole Whip or Pineapple Upside Down Cake? Definitely Dole Whip, absolutely Dole Whip, and shameless plug. I have a Dole Whip recipe on this channel, super, super good, lots of fun. I should make that again. <laughs> Yes, I, I really was offended. Someone said that was, Gigi said I was offended in the live chat. Um, yes, Gigi. Yes. Yes. If someone picks <laughs> Aladdin, I mean, whatever, but you're making the wrong choice, okay? <laughs> I, if you do not know Gigi, she has a channel too, and um, she does reviews, and she's hysterical, just off the cuff. I love watching her. She's done Pretty Little Liars ones, if you're a fan of that show, and absolutely hilarious and such a, such a kind person and our good friend who always shows up for us. So we appreciate you hanging out live. Thank you. Um, yes, that and my Moana slime. Yes, we did make Moana slime. That was so fun. Okay. This one is just quick, Disney princesses. You're welcome. You're welcome, Gigi. All right, Snow White or Cinderella? Cinderella, Aurora or Rapunzel, Aurora. I'm going kind of fast now. <laughs> Jasmine or Pocahontas? Jasmine. Mulan or Tiana? Mulan. Ariel or Moana? Ariel. Belle or Murda? Murda. I think I might surprise people with that one. Okay. Mm. Oh, this one looks fun. Okay. It says game to play while waiting in line. Well, we're not waiting in line, but we're just hanging out. Oh, I'm going to hop in the live chat and see. Snow White Rapunzel. Oh, um, from Brave. That's who uh, Merida is the girl with the red hair from Brave. I love her. And that I, that's kind of, ooh, I feel a little bad saying that about Belle because I love Belle, but... Brave is so good. Okay, this or that questions. This will probably be the last one, and I've been hanging out for an hour almost, 48 minutes. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Who needs stuff? I'm I'm kidding. I way I was just telling him. I was like, oh, I wish you were going to do it. It's just so fun to have someone to play off of. Um, but I hope you've had fun just watching me <laughs> talk about <laughs> talk about all my Disney opinions. All right, um, Disney this or that questions, games to play while waiting in line, or while you're on a live chat for Disney Deep Dive, right? So who would be your monster, Mike or Sully? Sully. All right. Would you rather have a tea party with Alice or Belle? Ooh, Alice is so fascinating and funny, but I'm going to go Belle. Splash Mountain or... Uh, the Cali River Rapids, 
Splash Mountain. Who would be your pet? Oh, Doug or Pluto. Okay, I love Up and I love Doug, but I'm going to go Pluto. Pluto is just such a faithful companion to Mickey. Um, pret or Mickey Pretzel or a Churro. Churros are really good, and I know churros are really having a moment. They're very popular right now, but I am going for that Mickey Pretzel and the plastic cheese. Yes. Daisy or Minnie Mouse? Minnie Mouse. I like Daisy, but I'm going Minnie. Monorail or Fairy to get to the Magic Kingdom? So I did the Fairy with Stefan and the kids, and we were the only ones on our Fairy. That was magical. That was so cool and special, and it felt like very VIP, you know? Um, but it was just we were the only ones on. It was a really uh, we were there before rope drop and we had a reservation that was really really neat yes it's a boat the boat fairy yes yeah daisy is sassy that is true daisy's very sassy and she wears that really she looks good in that purple um which song is better let it go or how far let it go excuse me or how far i'll go let it go had such a huge moment it's so special it's always going to remind me of my daughter being one of you know 10 elsas in her class when she was uh three years old but i'm going how far i'll go i think the music in moana is incredible aurora's dress pink or blue this is interesting it's pink now in the parks but she did used to have it blue I am going pink, and that is because that is what Haley wore, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. That is what she wore when she was with Aurora. So that's what has the special memory to me. But I love Aurora, and I don't have a ton of them, but I have some Aurora pins. I love them. Eventually, I want to do a whole pin board that is Aurora um, once, you know, time and budget allow. But yeah, I love Aurora so, so much. Um, Let It Go is so adult related. I agree with. It really is. And um, I think that so many of the Disney songs, especially the newer ones, really are inspiring to people of all ages. And the soundtrack to Frozen 2, if you haven't listened to that, incredible. And one of my favorites, um, there's a lot of really good songs. Anna's song is my favorite. But Olaf um, has talks about like how when he's older, everything's going to make sense, which you know, as a grown-up is hilarious. Okay. Um, Space Mountain or Thunder Mountain? Space Mountain. Um, be best friends with Maleficent or Cruella? Maleficent! She needs a bestie. That, that would solve so many problems. Um, who would you rather protect? Or, or who would you rather protect you? Mr. or Mrs. Incredible? Mrs. Incredible. Better sidekick, Miko or Pua? Oh my gosh. Um, oh, Pua is so cute, but I think I'm going Miko. Miko has a bigger role than Pua also. Would you rather play in the monster world or Neverland? Oh my gosh. Well, Neverland would be very cool, but I think that Neverland definitely has a little bit of like, I don't want to say creepy. That's not exactly the word I mean, but... You know, it's a wonderful thought, but we do have to grow up. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with Monster. Um, oh, swim with Ariel or Dory. Totally with Ariel. She might get you into some trouble. You might be late to meet your dad, but, you know, it's all right. Go hang out with Scuttle, too. Go to school. Oh, wait. What? Go to school with Riley or Okay, who's Riley? Why do I not know? Oh my gosh, is Riley from is Riley from um Inside Out? Dory will get you lost. Yeah, Dory will get you lost. Uh I think so. Uh okay, I'm going to skip that one because I do not know. Yeah, inside out. Okay. So go to school with her or go to school with the boy from Coco. I guess that because I love Coco. 
Um, I've only seen Inside Out once. I need to watch it again. I did enjoy it. But I didn't like it wasn't like one where I was like, I love it. I want to watch it again right away, which so many movies are to me. If you like that movie, leave me some comments telling me, hey, you got to watch it again. Arm wrestle with Mr. Incredible or wreck it Ralph. I would totally arm wrestle with wreck it Ralph. Who does? Oh, this is cool. Who does Icy Powers better, Elsa or Frozone? Um... Elsa. Yeah, Elsa. Frozone is from The Incredibles. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So Gigi in the live chat said that she, inside out, yes, and she was a psych major at the time. That definitely makes sense. Um, yeah, Frozone is kind of underrated. He's a really funny character. Um, who's the better boyfriend, Kristoff or Flynn? This is interesting because based on just Frozen, I would say Flynn Rider from Tangled. However, Frozen 2, Flynn, or I mean, excuse me, Kristoff is incredible. Kristoff doesn't try to save her. Kristoff is like, my love isn't fragile. I mean, he actually says that. And then he's like, I'm here. What do you need? What can I do? Like, she's got a problem. He's not like, let me fix it for you. He's like, let me help you. What you need, girl. And that is incredible. So totally, totally go on with Kristoff. And I love that they are doing like that. That's so powerful. Like to have him say, my love isn't fragile is incredible. And he has an awesome Michael Bolton moment. Pick, oh, pick a grandma trouble with some of these grandmother willow or tala grandmother willow sebastian or tamatoa oh that's funny so i love sebastian grew up with Ta sebastian but i love tamatoa and his whole song in moana so so funny the kids and i have listened to that song many times we have that soundtrack pick a toy woody or buzz buzz i know people love woody this is no shade to Tom Hanks. Um, Woody is faithful. Woody is the OG. Woody is loyal. But I, like, t uh, Tim Allen was, like, my TV dad. I feel like I grew up with Tim Allen. Love Tim Allen. And I just love Buzz. I love the character of Buzz. Oh, in the live chat, did you see the very end of Moana? He mentioned Sebastian. Buzz, I had one as a child. Yes, Bud is very adventurous. Yes, we have a couple of Buzz Lightyears. Those were very high on lists. We do have a Woody too, but Buzz is just, Buzz is cool. I mean, he's a space ranger. Let's see. Haunted Mansion or Tower of Terror? Haunted Mansion. Slinky Dog Dash or Mine Train. Haven't been on Slinky Dog Dash, so that's not really fair. I would pick it now if I could because I've been on Seven Dwarves Mine Train, but I do love Seven Dwarves Mine Train. And Festival of the Lion King or Beauty and the Beast Live. Definitely Festival of the Lion King. That's another one I remember so, so clearly going to see that show at Disney World with my family. And then when we went with the kids, we actually have... Another shameless plug for our vlogs, but we um, were walking to it and we got stopped and they said, hey, are you going to see Best of the Lion King? We said, yes, we are. And they said, well, do you want to come sit right in the front? So we were in the very first row, which was super, super cool. Um, oh, it's Seven Dwarves Mine Train. I'm sorry, not mined, like mine, like I'm mining for gold. Okay. That is it for the this or that. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching the replay, let me know if you thought this was fun. Give me ideas for things you would like to see. Gigi had a great suggestion to do an interactive game. So I need to look a day when I'm a little more up for it. Tonight I was like, I don't think I have the energy for that. But to figure out how to do some more games, like we have Pictionary. So I don't know how that would work. But we could definitely do some other kind of interactive games. This was really fun, though. I hope you enjoyed it. I do want to mention to check out the liveplace.com. Dean hosts a lot of really incredible family friendly and Disney streamers on there. Some really, really wonderful people. And let us know. You can find me 
on Instagram. I am at Leah Tackles. I'm on there every single day. I share my gratitudes on there every day. I share tips about boundary setting and social media and lots of Disney sprinkled in. So that is linked in the description box. You can also find Stefan at the Mitten Print Shop or Small World Shirts Co. Both of those Instagram handles and those are linked down below as well. Give us comments. Please, 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 please leave comments letting us know suggestions for future Disney deep dive episodes. We want to keep doing this. We want to keep doing ones that you want to see though. We want ones that are going to, you guys are going to watch and hopefully share if you enjoy them. And we really appreciate the support. Thank you for hanging out with me, even though I know it's not as fun to just watch one person do this, but I had fun with you and thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here live. Thank you for watching the replay. And you can watch um, other Disney videos from me. You can put my, I'll put my most recent one right here. And you can see other Disney videos from us right there. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a magical day. See you soon. Bye.